Good morning from Roswell, New Mexico. This has been on our list to do for many, many years. And we finally made it to good old Roswell. We've always been interested like in aliens and all the little cool things this town has to offer. So we're going to head in town, do some attractions, check out the little museums here, and just see everything that Roswell has to offer. And we're here at just the entrance to Roswell right now. That's the little sign there with the little UFO crashing on top of it. Looks pretty cool. I can't wait. Hopefully later on this trip we'll be doing Area 51 as well. So be looking out for that video. But let's check out this Roswell sign. Let's get in and see if we can find an alien, find a spaceship. Never know what we'll find out here in Roswell. Let's check it out, y'all. Welcome to Roswell. We are coming in from Lubbock, Texas. So that's just the way that we've come in. I think there's a few of these signs actually around town, but I think it's so cool to see the Roswell, like the green. It looks like it lights up at night and uh, has a little spaceship crashing in there. That's just so, so cool. And then just a little bit that way is Roswell downtown. There's going to be some aliens and museums and all kinds of stuff, but we have made it to Roswell. Driving through Roswell, this is what you're going to see, and this is pretty cool here. River flooring has definitely embraced the alien theme. So you can see all their like stuff like turf, stone, tools, and supplies. But even cooler, you can see all the aliens. There's uh, a UFO right over there, like beaming up um, the boxes there for river flooring. Um, <laughs> shop local right there. Uh, so yeah, everything has something to do with either uh, aliens, UFOs, but also tying in like their own advertisements. But it's so cool to see that like these little local businesses have fully embraced uh, the history here of Roswell. Alien invasion! This is another cool little mural we ran across. I love that. We are starting our day off with the UFO Museum. Look at the cool marquee and the alien head. But also look at the street lamps in town. They have alien eyes. It's like aliens heads are your street lamps. That is just so so neat here. And then we're gonna head on inside to the UFO Museum. You can tell it's like an old theater here, but Halloween time, it is October, so you have some little ghosts there. Look at this. This is so cool. 1947 Roswell incident celebrating 76 years. And then a couple more little signs out here. Area 52, Alien Zone. Visit the gift shop. And there's all their socials right there. As soon as you come in, you agree with a few aliens. It looks like you're inside of a spaceship in here. And this is amazing. This is so cool. And this is where you get your tickets at right here. of $7 per adult. And another alien right here. Yeah. The Roswell 1947 UFO incident. You can kind of get an idea of what it looks like there because it would have crashed out in the middle of the desert. And so you can see the desert and the little, I guess, kind of plateaus or hills out there. And you got the little, uh, the little aliens, right, Steph? They've been working out, haven't they? Look at their muscles. They look pretty cool. That's a glimpse of what they would have seen when that UFO crashed back in 1947. You only have three fingers on each hand. And toes. And three toes and They're threesies. They have this awesome little area when you first come in that goes to like the whole timeline here, starting with uh, July 2nd. And if you look here, they have a diorama here. You can see the UFO like trail right there where it crashed into the desert. You can see like kind of the plateau and just kind of desert plains. And there's the actual crashed UFO. And somewhere in this little area right here, there's been a few aliens out here is where they would have came out at. But that's neat to see like the actual crashed, crashed UFO ship there. As the timeline continues, we're over here to July 9th and 10th, and just continues all the way through like the museum over here. There's a couple of the, uh, yes, yeah, a couple of the iconic photos. Like if you've been keeping up with this, like I have for pretty much my whole entire life, like these photos are iconic photos. As we know, there was no weather balloon here. Let us know in the comments below, do you think it was a UFO, a spaceship, space saucer, uh, or do you think it was a weather balloon? He thinks it was a cover story. Oh yeah, I do too. <laughs> but there's some of the iconic photos from when they brought some of the debris back uh, to, I believe it was the sheriff's station or, or you know, the sheriff's department brought them over. But this is really cool to have everything here, like a lot of the stuff you can find online too. I've been reading about it for many years, but it's interesting they have it all in one place. 
the weather balloon was in fact a story that we were told to give the public and the news and that was it. We have information here about Area 51, which we've been out there before about seven years ago. Hopefully this trip will be going out there. That'll be a separate video if we do. Remember the sign stuff at Area 51? Yes, and it says photography is prohibited. Yep. And guess who made me take a picture of it? Me? Yeah. <laughs> this is this is a really cool exhibit here. There's actually they got a flying saucer over there with aliens. They got a big balloon here. So this here talks about uh, Project Mogul. Top secret Army Air Corps balloon uh, device. This, I think, is one of the coolest photo ops I've probably ever seen, not just here but in my life. So I love reading about the aliens and everything and the research oh, on that's it. That's cool. It was for the TV show Making Monsters on the Travel Channel. Now look at that. There's four of the aliens. There is the flying saucer. There's like another one up there above with the lights on. It's traditional, but you see like the lights are on the edge of the flying saucer and everything. But that is so neat to see this. This is like out in the desert, hovering there with the aliens below it. What a cool, cool setup right here. <laughs> that is so neat. This is so cool, y'all. This is like the bucket list item for me. My stuff enjoys it too, but I've loved aliens and love the research, all that from my whole childhood growing up. And there's a UFO right behind me. This is like amazing. Roswell is such a cool town. We've only been in town for like 15 minutes in this museum so far. So it's pretty cool. I can't wait to see all the other little attractions here. We got a good day planned out here. We'll show you our entire day. But I just want to talk to y'all for a bit in front of a flying saucer with some little alien guys underneath it. And there's one alien right there. Mm -hmm. Steffi just got off the flying saucer. Sure did. Ready to take you home. Ah! <laughs> this here is very interesting. This is the original crash site. Here's some information about it. And it's in 2002, the Sci-Fi Channel sponsored the first archaeological dig of the 1947 Roswell crash debris site. I'll let you pause there. There's a lot to read. You can read it there for a second. But look at these photos here. It is. So this is them actually out there doing the dig at the crash site. And there's uh, some crash site artifacts. The different things they found out there. And there's some of them actually in person. Or you can see a person here. And I think that's just so neat that that's the actual site of the alleged crash, or the weather balloon, whatever you want to say. But I still believe it was a spaceship for sure. This section up here is like focusing on movies and shows and things like that. There's Men in Black. But look at this photo up here with the day the Earth stood still. You got the poster over here. A lot of information. But look at this photo up. That is a really awesome photo up right there. This reminds me of what Area 51 would look like probably on the inside of the base there. And here's like a replica of what they would have seen, you know, from the Roswell crash site. They brought the little aliens out doing some testing on them. It was a little bit hard to see, but that's neat. This would be the autopsy of one of the aliens. So you can see the recreation of an alien there, the nurses and doctors. There's some of the crash site materials or different things they maybe pulled out from around the alien or from the alien. I guess that's probably like the Secret Service or FBI or some kind of special research person. They even got the x-ray of an alien skull back there in the back. That's so interesting. I thought this was pretty neat here. UFO classifications. So I'll just kind of let y'all pause it here for a second. But you can see from nocturnal light all the way down to the close encounter, the fourth kind. You can see all the information about what classification each one is. Look down here. This is all types of reported UFOs, what they have as reported to look like. Wow. <laughs> and then this is what all the aliens have been reported to look like. Whoa. That's cool. Yeah. So, I mean, you have humans, you have a demon woman down here, you have Jason's mask. You know, there's head. also like a rumor like humans can unzip their skin yeah. and they become aliens. Yeah. That's interesting. We have a penny machine here, 51 cents. We don't ever get these often, but we have to get them while we're here. And there's a, the, the designs they have there. So, we'll get one of those and we'll show you what it looks like here in just one second. 
design picked out. That was a very easy one. Some of them are like really hard to do. Yeah. Look at there. Can you see it? Let's see. Is it the spaceship with the two aliens yep. inside on the UFO museum? That's pretty cool. Caution is advised. Storm detected. Withdrawal to safety is advised. Unfortunately for our visitors, the universe has other plans. Withdrawal impossible. What do you think of that, Steph? That was really neat. Yeah, it was actually the UFO coming from crashing. space and yeah. crashing into Roswell. It was yeah. about two and a half minutes long. I highly recommend stopping and seeing down the way out of the museum. That was a little interesting. <laughs> little alien friend. They have an entire research library here that's all about aliens and everything you can imagine. This is really neat back here. And at the very back of the wall, or very back of the room, they have a mural back there as well. Just look at that. All about aliens. I'll take you back here to the mural too. You have to take a closer look at that mural. I just want to show you something real quick before. Audio cassette tape index. That's these audio cassettes. They got DVDs, everything. But look at this mural back here. That's what the uh, crash site would have looked like. As always, you exit out through the gift shop. They got Roswell hats. That's Roswell magnets. There's some there for Area 51. There's some like Bigfoot light up there, alien headlights, there's all kinds of stuff. Ornaments. This is a local gift shop in it. It's on the back of our car. <laughs> a little alien there. Yeah. And then they have uh, mouse pads, pins, just a whole place up here, stickers, stuff for your kitchen. And then of course a lot of t-shirts back here in the back. Homer stickers, coasters, wine stoppers. There's just so much in here. Greeting cards and then all kinds of shirts back here and toys and everything. There's a selection of some of the magnets they have. And then right behind us, there's some like hand painted ones. We're gonna grab a hand painted one as well. But there they are right there, the hand painted magnets. Those are very unique. Over here in the kids section, they got alien head boppers. And at Disney, you got Mickey ears, and Roswell, you got alien ears. That's so cool. There's little bendable aliens. We've got a couple of those probably. Puffer aliens, stress reliever. <laughs> it's got such cool stuff here. This is all the t shirts and stuff back behind us. This toy section is really cool. Alien tic tac toe, alien glasses. We were checking out here at the gift shop. We saw this alien on the wall with a tinfoil hat. Funny thing is, we went to Area 51 in 2017. There was a uh, couple from overseas there, um, and they had tinfoil hats on driving in their convertible. So it's neat to see the alien with the tinfoil hat on it. And right here at the exit, they had this little photo. Um, what's it called? Photo op. Photo op. I went blank. Jeremy. What about aliens? Hanging with your I'm homies. <laughs> First stop in Roswell is completed. And that place was awesome, the UFO Museum. We got a whole bag, I think we got shot glass, we got bendable aliens, I got an alien head stress reliever, we got two magnets, yeah, one hand painted. Yeah, I got a little stress squeeze ball thing. Everything in there is just like so cheap and that's that toy section. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there it is, look. Squeeze, well, it's cool. There's a bunch of bendable aliens in there we got too. Uh, uh, there's two of them. Yeah. There's the classic green. Look at that. That's like a dollar. Yeah, this stuff. And like, this is a dollar. I had to get a purple. It was like 30 one. bucks total for all this stuff. Yeah, there's a shot glass in there, two magnets. We got one of those hand painted magnets too, and everything. And then we're going to walk just down the street to our next attraction here. Oh, this is neat. Roswell, we believe. This is right next to that UFO museum just past it. I was really good with the trees in there too. That's just a beautiful shot. Roswell, we believe. If you're coming in town, they have these convenient maps here that show everything. 
We've only got maybe three or four things to do that we're gonna do today besides walk around, but there's a list of all the attractions that they have here and things to do. And it's all walkable, very close by, and it feels great downtown too. It's nice weather here. That's a little map for everything that has to offer here in Roswell. We're walking over to the UFO spacewalk, which is straight ahead that way. And look at this, like there's a trail of alien footprints along the sidewalk, the three toes, the little feet and everything. And so I imagine, yeah, I can see it kind of ending up there. <laughs> it's taking us right over to that spacewalk experience that we're going to. But I love that, like the little touches mean the most. This is our next attraction, the Roswell UFO Spacewalk, a black light adventure. And there's a little alien feet leading us right to the entrance of it. Oh, this is gonna be cool, isn't it, Steph? As you come in, you are greeted with something amazing, which is a UFO black light display here. I love that. You got the robot, you got the alien. There's a little baby alien feet still there too, Steph. <laughs> Look all around, like look at the space sky up here and everything. This is so, so cool. This is actually their gift shop. I'll just show it to you real quick. Some of their merch they have when we head inside. They got mugs and uh, shot glasses. There's plush aliens. Nice. Plushy hats. <laughs> oh, look at that back there, Steph. It's got the Loch Ness monster on it. Sasquatch and the UFO beating up. We need to get that, don't we? <laughs> That's neat. It's got a lot of cool things here. And then, oh, real quick, yeah, when you get your mission here, they give you a little, little bracelet to wear. That's your mission. But well, we're going to head on inside. Into the station. Let's, oh, let's go in, Steph. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's one of those little bells. Oh, man. Oh, there's buttons and everything. How can we press things? Because these don't actually work. Oh, these work up here, maybe? Whoa. Oh, there's a little uh, flying saucer right there. You see it moving? So we're like looking out from our spaceship right now. Oh, there's one us to go to the probing station stuff. <laughs> I don't like this stuff. I don't want to go to the probing station. Follow the footprints. Uh oh. Follow the footprints will be lost. Oh, Steph, look at this. There's actually a flying saucer right above us, too. Oh, we're following the footsteps. Oh, footsteps go this way. Oh, wow. Oh, it's an eyeball. <laughs> this way, humanoids. <laughs> this way, humanoids. Beware. Oh, this is like a scene out of E.T. or something. Oh, wow. His eyes just went off, but his eyes will come back on in a second. Oh, there it goes. Oh, something back behind us. <laughs> oh, you see all the little aliens? Oh, wow. There's that alien in there, too. Oh, it looks like... Is that a... It's like the, uh... Oh, Domino Snowman. Yeah. Domino Snowman, yep. almost like quite alien skeletons, I guess, because they're so small. Oh, 
looks like those like Mars attacks aliens right there. Bracelets are That's so cool. I like how he moves his head too, the motions and everything. This is really cool. If you come to Roswell, this is a must. Yeah, this is definitely, this is awesome. I can see her look at this all day. It's so cool, his head moving and everything. The spider web. <laughs> there's a curtain here. Oh, there's a uh, dive on the thing. This time, but we have our eye on you. You know what? That was awesome, y'all. I will tell you, it's a little bit short, about five minutes or so, five, six minutes we were in yeah, there. It's not long at all. But it was amazing. Six dollars a person, like you can't beat that. That was cool. That was that was cool. That I was like a lot of fun. Yeah. So we're gonna head over to our next attraction now. But Roswell's pretty cool place. Walk into our next attraction. They have a Lego exhibit. Look, we come in pieces. That's it. That's, That's cool. Very funny. And there's some more of those uh, lamp posts, the lamps that have the alien eyes on them. This is just a cool town here, though. Like, you still got some normal shops, but then yeah, also you have like, look, their Earthlings welcome alien enhancements. I think whether you believe in aliens, you think it's all set up, whatever your beliefs, it's fun to come and just experience. It's just fun. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Yeah. There's an antique store over there. <laughs> oh. Wow. Roswell Abduction Jerky, Fresh Brew Coffee, Alien Souvenirs. This is Hangar 209, Roswell, New Mexico. That's cool. And our next attraction is going to be the Alien Zone over there. And they got props and all kinds of cool stuff there. But you want to look at the Alien Merchant here stuff real quick? Huh? Let's go look at the Alien Merchant here. Roswell, New Mexico. It's look at this one. Right it's got the cow being beamed up. But they have one of the lights here from the street. They have some of the nicest merch we've seen so far, don't they? Yeah. There's like a top secret thing. There's a multi can. I'm getting one of these aliens right here. Those are cool. For 17 bucks, you have to get one. But something really interesting is that the coffee is complimentary here. So you come in, you can complimentary coffee from here while you buy all your stuff here. That's pretty cool. A little mural right there. Uh, more mugs, too. We just left Hangar 209 and we bought a couple postcards and the postcard they put in the bag, look at that. Top secret. Nobody knows what postcards we got. That's so cool. And then I also got my alien guy too. But definitely check out check out Hangar uh, 209. He's kind of stuck in the bag right now, but there he is right there. Roswell, New Mexico, the plush alien. That's a really cool coffee shop in there slash they got beef jerky, they got free coffee, and then some really cool merch. Some of the nicest merch I've seen here too is like really nice stuff. Uh, so hang, check out Hangar 209, which is right across the street from our next destination, Alien Zone. You open the top secret bag, Steph. You can't do that. We got a couple of these postcards right here. Those are cool. Beaming the cow up. Okay, I just, I can't. I know we've already shown this, but look at that light. The little alien head. How cute is that? I like, it's so cool they did that. This is what we're loving about Roswell. Is like every business, there's a barber shop right there. Every in business embraces the aliens. And like, here's a bank. An ATM. ATM inside, but it's an alien getting his money out of the bank. Money too, I just love how every business just embraces the the history here from the, the Roswell crash. And just, like even the bank, like we're not going in the bank obviously because we don't bank here, but just something small they do can just, the small touches make it a really cool town. You know, it's just, it's awesome. Oh, more aliens on the windows. And then, this is our next stop here, Alien Zone. Looking forward to this one. And there's information about what Alien Zone is. It also talks about, also talks about Area 51 as well. It was $5 per adult, and we just got our boarding card here. And we're going to head on back. There's some things all around as you go in. There's an alien up top. And... <laughs> Oh, there's one down there too. <laughs> and then this is the door that you go into your right, right here. That's the paid entrance, the hole in the wall they call it. We'll show you back here real quick. This is like area 51, top secret area 51. Look, there's like, like a little cafe back here. There's aliens up top, aliens in the booth. This is neat. It's, oh, it's an alien bar. Yeah. <laughs> Crash Down Cafe, burgers, fries, and shakes. 
Oh, there's an alien in a little, uh, like, tube right there. Oh, wow. They got popcorn and sodas, and this is neat back here. We're going to head on to that little hole in the wall now, but I just love the, the alien in the bar here. That's, that's cool. Pay before entering, adults $5, youth are 3 This is the hole in the wall, as they call it. Literally, it's a hole in the wall. Okay. Whoa, that's cool. Watch your head. Put angling in there. Oh. <laughs> There's a little door we're going through right here. It's actually like a destroyed door too. That's neat. Oh, and this is the prop area stuff. Our photo ops and everything back here. Oh, this is cool. The first one's like some aliens upside down. Like, I don't have some of the cameras. They're just hanging around. <laughs> Look at this. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Jeremy? Yeah, hey. Just hang out with my alien friends here. Look at this. There's one over here, too. I guess he just got back from the pool. Yeah, he's been on the pool all day. This one's got a... Um, this one just decided not to wear pants today. She needs some help with arm, too. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Look at that over there. Oh, that's neat. You can actually like, operate under alien here and everything. And all of them back there. The autopsy lab. Oh, there's one over here in the corner, too. You can do what? <laughs> hey, what you making me? Got some alien burgers. Oh. Fresh alien meat. Oh. Be the best I don't know. How do you, how do you feel about that? He eats them too. He can't talk right now. He's a little full. That's oh look, he he has a spirit on there too. <laughs> yeah, a diet coke. In a, in a diet coke. Biological analysis. There's just a lot of alien stuff they got here. Caution, radioactive. This is neat. Education analysis. Pressure analysis. There's an alien even inside there. There's a whole bar back here, Steph. You can have a, a beer or whatever else you want with your alien. I got a jukebox. There's the thing that's analysis. Hey, look at me. <laughs> Frosty, Mandela, Rocket Fizz. That's not just alcohol. It's all kinds of drinks they have served back here. You do not write on the walls. It's like a real alien like spaceship tunnel back here. That's cool. Aliens and everything. Look, me, Mom, take a picture wow. with me. Oh, yeah. You get the pictures. Hey, you ready? Oh, Area 51 now. <laughs> Look at that stuff. Cosmic jukebox. It's open for business. Alien riding a bike. Oh, that's cool. A little alien flying the spaceship. We got one locked up back there, too. Or two of them. There's one on the ground there, or on the seat there. This is where they'll do the operation on you. Look at that. And then back here, you got the alien payphone photo off. Oh, wow. We stopped off at the alien UFO McDonald's, which we'll show you right behind us. But across the street is this Duncan and Baskin Robbins right here. But the interesting thing is, you can already see there's a giant alien out there holding up the sign for the Duncan and Baskin Robbins. That's just so cool uh, how they have like all the, the tie-ins and everything from all the uh, places here. Like, it's right behind us, it's promised. There it is, the spaceship alien McDonald's. That is so, so cool. We're just parked to get out there. We're getting out of our car now to go inside and grab some food. But look at the Duncan Baskin Robbins. Alien. Look at that. Got the flying saucer out front. There's aliens all out front. I'm not sure there's no alien over here. 
So we're gonna head inside the flying saucer too. I mean, how can you not eat a flying saucer at McDonald's? But I mean, recently we ate at another McDonald's uh, on Route 66, right? Remember the train car one? Yeah. I can't remember what part of town that was in. But it was in a uh, oh, there's California, right? Or... There's a little like water at the bottom. Yeah, I'll have to Barso. try Barstow. Yeah, right? I think so. And I'll keep going this way. That's just a little door there. Uh, but there was a uh, train cars on Route 66 for the uh, for the McDonald's, and we're heading inside now. And there's one more alien right here. And look, even at the drive-through, you get an alien. We are heading inside the flying saucer. It's a play place in here too. Look at this. All this world French fries. There's the play place up there. You got Ronald McDonald in a space suit like an astronaut. There's the big flurry up there. There's Grimace. We're inside of a flying saucer right now. That's so cool. <laughs> a flying saucer at McDonald's and then... What is up here, Steph? What part of the galaxy are you from? It's just donating to the Ronald McDonald House charity. Oh, cool. But Tennessee's not represented very well, so I kind of want to help us out. Tennessee is not represented, but this is all the states here. And this goes to the Ronald McDonald charity. So we'll put a $10 bill. Ugh, I'm gonna $10 bill in the Tennessee box. There we go. Representing Tennessee. And this side just looks like your normal McDonald's. I don't see anything really different from this side. But there was a... Uh, was a neon sign up here somewhere. There it is, with the alien on it. See that there? So the UFO and the alien right there. That's so cool. I'm giving you the full experience. This is the drive-through experience now. Look at that, aliens. Look at this, alien. <laughs> oh man, it's so cool. Oh, look at that limit time chicken Big Mac. We're gonna get our food ordered, and we'll show you anything else that we see here. All right, our food is ordered. There's another alien greeting us. All right, and on the drive through side, they have this cool mural while you're waiting for your food. There's Ronald McDonald in a, um, oh my gosh, words are failing me today. What is it, babe? It's a little rocket car thing. Yes, like a little rocket, rocket ship. There's a UFO out there, too. Yeah, there's a UFO. That was a little the hamburger, too. The hamburger, see the, the face of the hamburger? Yeah. That's cool. So that was our day in Roswell, New Mexico. We're actually now in a hotel in Gallup, New Mexico. We forgot to do our intro, or I mean our outro. There's actually a two queen bedrooms. So that's two beds right there. Uh, be looking out for this video. This is the El Rancho Hotel uh, out here in Gallup, New Mexico on historic Route 66. But Roswell, such a fun, cool town. Highly recommend it. And we really liked everything we did. Our least favorite was probably that alien thing at the end where you do like the photo ops. Uh, probably my favorite is probably the museum, but also tie with that blacklight thing that was so cool, the interactive exhibit. But everything is so cheap, like five or six dollars a person. So I would say do everything that you want to do there. Just If you think you may want to do it, just do it. Because everything's so cheap. And that alien encounter, or the alien museum, was so cool. So much history and everything. I know we only showed you like, a glimpse of it. But like the street lamps had the aliens on there. The McDonald's, you know, the uh, Baskin Robbins, Duncan had the alien. The whole town embraces the alien theme. And if you didn't go to that UFO museum, wait till it does like the display where it starts spinning like we showed you. That was really cool to see that and do that interactive thing where the spaceship crashes into Roswell. But man, what all of that uh, gift shop, uh, 20, can't remember the name of it. Secret? The top, that gift shop we went to where we got my little uh, alien plush. I can't remember the exact name of it right now, but check that gift shop out too. They had some really nice merchandise there. And also at the UFO Museum, they have all those kids' toys. We got bendable aliens and uh, stress little alien head squeezy thingies. So just. It's just a fun town, and it's the middle of nowhere, by the way. So getting there is nothing, leaving is nothing, but well worth the drive. And uh, hopefully we'll be checking out Area 51 again in the future. Uh, we did it in 2017 before we filmed and did the YouTube. But Area 51 is amazing, and so it's really cool to see Area 51 and now Roswell. And hopefully Area 51 again in the future. But Roswell, you've got to do it, y'all. If you're thinking about it, just go to Roswell. It's just a fun town. We probably spent two or three hours there total at the most. And I think that's probably all you need really for Roswell. You could do more shopping and things like that, but I think two to three hours you should be good. But thank y'all for joining us. I may be an alien now. I'm gonna unzip, see what happens. Maybe it's an alien, maybe I'm a human, who knows. But I just came back from Roswell. With that being said, the nerds are 
Elf.